Hey guys, Abdur Sun here from AndroidTechBlackSpot.com. Right now I'm going to show you how to upgrade a ROM on your Galaxy S3. Keep in mind this will work on any other Android. This is just a method that I used when I upgrade a ROM or flash a different ROM. So right now I'm going to upgrade my AOKP, which is, I've been running for a long time and there are so many new updates that came out but I never upgraded. So I thought I would make a video and show you guys what I do when I upgrade my ROM. So first of all, you will need a couple of apps for this. I use Titanium Backup as I still need to find it. Right there. So one of the apps you will need is Titanium Backup. What I do is uh, I'll just press the button on the corner. Then I'll back up all user applications plus system data. I know most of the developer don't recommend flashing back the system data, but I just do it. So if I lose the ROM or my old CWM backup, I can always restore that. Now keep in mind, I do not restore the data when I'm restoring the actual uh, titanium restore. I only restore the applications that's eight no data because that is not something you should do when you are restoring your applications so this is the first step I already done it so I'm not gonna do it again these are the steps I'm gonna show you the next application you will need is called SMS backup right here just press backup press OK or if you wanna type in something like today's date is 30 so November 30 let me type that in oops press OK and it will start backing up this does not take time that much either it's just matter of time a couple of seconds before it gets it done so that's why I decided I would let you guys see this and you guys can figure out how fast it gets everything done as you can see it says backup completed already it says failed zero I never had anything failed I had total 13 3186 press back button so those are the two applications now I run clock on recovery if you're running team in recovery great good for you you can always back up in that too so these two are back up if you have some stuff that you need to back up again if you feel like backing up their phone go ahead and do it I never do it because I know it's not gonna fail but it's recommended once in a while to back up your phone and then we're gonna boot into recovery Now if you don't know how to boot into recovery you can always download uh, quick boot applications from market and use that to boot into recovery always and here let me show you what I do here I'm gonna go in backup and restore and just press backup this will start a new process of backing up files as you can see here so this will take quite a while and as you can see I have about a gigabyte of free memory and this is how I back up everything before I flash a ROM so what I'm gonna do now is flash my new update for AOKP and I'll come back and show you how I restore everything so it will be just a moment hey guys so as you can see I just flashed the AOKP ROM and uh, now I'm gonna start doing all my restores as you can see I don't have any applications except for the Google application that I flash and SMS backup and Titanium backup 
so let's go ahead and get this process started first of all I'm gonna go to Teddy Makeup it's gonna ask me for super user information I'll grant that and uh, this is the first time I flashed this applications after I got the phone set up so it's gonna ask a bunch of stuff that you always ask I have the key too for this Titan backup if you don't know what key is it's a pro version and uh, I'm gonna press all the way in the corner scroll down I'm gonna press restore missing app with data and here I'm gonna select apps only you see I just selected apps only again if you can see only selected app only no data if you restore data that's when you have to start having problem and that's when your ROM developer doesn't help you because it clearly says not to restore data and some folks always does it so just press the arrow or the tick mark in the corner and it will start restoring all your applications as you can see I have about 154 applications so it will take time I'll come back once restore is done hey guys as you can see the Titanium Backup Pro has restored everything and it's done restoring it took quite a while because uh, some of the apps were big so like around 5-10 minutes I guess it will take for most of you guys and once this is done I go to my SMS backup these are the application it restored. I'm gonna go to SMS backup. Okay, okay. I'm gonna go to restore. And November 30. <laughs> now you can see there are two. But the end name you can figure it out from there. One of them is 754, another one is 827. So I guess the top one is the one that was done later press ok restore entire another ok want to check for duplicates yes and it will start restoring now I'm not gonna show you my SMS to double check that it got restored but you're gonna have to believe that it is getting restored and all the application you just saw it's got restored already again this is how I flash ROM or upgrade ROM every time first of all I back up everything from Titanium backup SMS backup to CDBLM full backup of my system then I wipe install the ROM only install the application no data then install install all the SMS backup restore it reboot my phone I give the phone five minutes to relax after having hard work day and then start using again so I hope you guys can find this video helpful if you do thumbs ups are always appreciated helps me know that you guys get help from these videos feel free to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video thank you for watching guys